My name is Nina Fishesser and I'm the director of the May Wildlife Rehabilitation Center at Lees McCray College. And we have a program going on right now that's part of a wildlife biology degree where these students are participating in the summer clinical, which is really the meat and potatoes of our program. We work with hundreds of animals over the summertime and our goal is always to release them back to the wild. And we are so lucky today to be able to release um, two broadwing hawks, um, which is really uh, kind of, it's exciting because uh, of Grandfather Mountain, where we get to release them. Our mission is to inspire conservation of the natural world by helping guests explore, understand, and value what's so special about this place and places like it around the world. And um, one of the initiatives we have here in the fall is uh, a hawk watch here at Grandfather Mountain. We're, we're one of the, we're an international hawk watch uh, review site. And so we have experts that are here that observe fall migration. And of course, one of the real shows of the fall migration is the Broadwing Hawk. Uh, we had a day back in 2015 where we had almost 10,000 hawks fly in over Grandfather day? Mountain in one day. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. 6,000 <laughs> 6, Broadwing Hawks were in one group on Grandfather Mountain. So Broadwing Hawks, we love them. Uh, we, we love the fall show of their fall migration. They also breed here and nest here on Grandfather Mountain. So this is one of our native birds to the mountain. So we're honored to be a partner with Lise McRae and with the May Wildlife Institute. And of course, Nina. Glad to have Nina here. So with that, thank you for being here today. Thanks, Jesse. So I'm Casey Little. I'm from Albemarle, North Carolina. It's an hour from Charlotte. So our patient that we're releasing is Silver 191. He was found on Highway 16 near Miller's Creek. He, the founder found him very droopy on the side of her face down, so he's probably hit by a car. When he got brought in the center, there was no fractures or no wounds at all, but he was very dehydrated, so we treated for no dehydration. And on May 2nd, we actually did a fecal, and he does have parasites. He had poxidia. We treated that with... Um, Oxidia? Uh, I said Bimbin. Yeah, okay. Bimbin. Yeah, we did with Bimbin. And um, now he's been getting rehab, getting Sammy out so he can be released. <laughs> so this is patient 216. 216 was found off the side of the road in Flat Rock, North Carolina. Upon arriving at the center, we found that there was some blood in the glottis and the tip of his beak was starting to break off and it eventually just uh, came off. Um, so we initially treated him with meloxicam for any pain that may have been going on. And then after several days of just some basic care needs and some treatment in our raptor room, we then tested for parasites and Pink 216 actually had coccidia and capillaria, which was treated with fenbendazole. Parasites, and we went outside into a 30 foot white cage just to be able to um, stretch his wings a little bit more. And then, after we felt that he was ready, we took him into our 60 foot flight cage to be able to rebuild that stamina back up. And now we are here today to be able to release him, so it's very exciting. absolutely amazing. I love to see all of our patients be able to come out here and be released and then live a long happy life out in the wild as they should be. We don't get to release them in a public situation like this because we always try to take them back to where they came from if appropriate because that's their neighborhood. They might have a mate there. They might have, um, they might not be migratory like owls. Um, we always try to take them back. So if we can, you know, we take them back, but this was just a situation where either we couldn't get in touch with the finder or, you know, that. And we know that these guys are migrating um, this time of year or when they came in. So we knew that they'll just get their bearings and go where they're supposed to go.